to get in the kitchen and start baking some magical springtime cupcakes. Oh, Alice, people still have their Christmas decorations up. It's still winter, by the way. Well then, what do you say about these? Ugh. Everything about these say spring, spring, spring. See, take a look. Oh, well, when you put it that way, I guess you could have a little spring in winter. Exactly. I can't wait to get started on these sweet spring treats. Alice and Holly are right. Who says we can't have spring a little bit early? That's exactly what we're going to do in today's show because we have these early released Miniverse Spring Series. This is Spring Series 1 and we have four recipes to collect. Here we go with ball number one. Oh, it's so cute. We have a little sunshine with bunny ears. Here's our cute pastel ball. So the spring theme is very pastel. And we have pastel little baggies. Oh, how sweet. It reminds me of Easter. Look at them. They're all pastel themed. Super cute. Jump into spring. <gasps> Do we have bunker bars? This is the ultra rare. Oh, so neat. Okay, we're definitely going to be looking out for that. Oh, and the golden ticket. We all want a golden ticket to Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I mean, Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. Oh, here are all of our little recipes. We have carrot cupcakes, honey glazed ham, egg basket. This is too adorable. I love the egg baskets that come out in spring. And the Wonka bars. This is the ultra rare. Definitely going for this one. And it's perfect because we have four balls. I really hope we don't get any duplicates. Okay, so here's our little table. Looks like we're having a little picnic because it's spring, of course. Where's the base? Oh, look at this pearly little lavender base. So pastel -y and Easter-y. Let's go ahead and go with this super adorable jump into spring bag. What are we getting in here? All right. Oh, we're baking some cupcakes. Oh, we have some carrot cupcakes. I actually really like carrot cake. It was one of my favorite cakes growing up. So I don't mind carrot cupcakes, but maybe it might not be everyone's cup of tea. And here we have sun-baked sweets. What are we getting in here? Oh, so cute. We have our little cupcake toppers. Everything is just so cute already. Have a happy day. Aww. Here's our sprinkles. We get sprinkled carrot cupcakes. And over here we've got, thank you, oh, little chickadee popping out of a little egg. What is this? We got a cupcake stand? No way, that is so detailed. Okay, let's go ahead and place that, put that together. This is our little cupcake stand. I love it. And over here, this must be our resin. Let's have a little look-see. What is our resin? It's cream cheese frosting. That's what holds everything together. Perfect. Happy Sun Creamery Cream Cheese Frosting. And here is our utensils. What are we getting in here? Is it like a, what? We don't need utensils to eat cupcakes though. Oh, oh, okay. Look at our little tongs. They match our table. They're so pretty. Oh, wait, I missed something. This is the perfect utensil to spread the frosting. Okay, that is our utensils. I'm missing something. Oh, this is just too cute. We have little bunny ears for the top of our ball. This part, remember? It used to be like a little button thingy, like a round thingy. But for spring, we get little bunny ears. Oh, and a cute little bunny face. All right, you guys ready to make some cupcakes? So let's open up our little... Oh, what do these feel like? Oh, they're kind of like silicone-y. They're nice and soft. Oh, I like the quality of these. Look at our little cupcake liners. Those are just too cute to boot. Here's our cream cheese twopping. There you go. Whoa, that's a huge tub of frosting for just six cupcakes. Nice. Let's see the consistency. How is it? Oh, it's very soft. You know how resin is usually really thick and goopy? This is on the softer side, so I think it's going to make it a lot easier to spread onto our cupcakes. Always follow instructions with these. I tend to kind of get overly excited and miss the instructions and mess things up. So let's take our first little cupcake. We're going to get some frosting on here. And let's make this one a sprinkled one. That should be good enough. All right, let's go ahead and add the little sprinkles. We've got pastel sprinkles. Ooh, oh, perfect, okay. 
Oh, whoa, okay, that was a lot. And now, oh, wait, be very careful so it doesn't fall. I think we might need a little more sprinkles on this other side, right? Let's see if we can kind of move some of the sprinkles over without covering them up with the frosting. We can grab some sprinkles that fell off, just so we have enough sprinkles everywhere and of each color too. All right, our first little cupcake is good to go. Let's get it back in the tray and let's do the next one. And this time we're gonna do some bunny ears. So I'm gonna do these ones with the one little ear going down. Okay, I think we need to cure them now because that is not going to stay up like that. The frosting is a little too soft. So to save our work and keep it from getting ruined, I'm going to cure it in our little curing machine. Now you can leave it out in the sun. That is just as good as a curing machine and it'll set within five to 10 minutes. There you go. We'll get it working its magic. Next up, let's actually go ahead and frost all of our cupcakes and get our cute little designs on there and cure them all at once. Let's place a little carrot on one of these. Oh, so cute. And here's another carrot. Then we'll add one more straight bunny ears. Because we already have one that has one up, one down. There's that one. And we'll do one more sprinkle. Uh oh, but this one we have to be careful not to get the sprinkle on the rest. There you go. Good enough. All right, time to cure. Let's go ahead and set up our cute little cupcakes on our cupcake stand. Here they are, look how precious they look on the stand and put together. Now you guys, I may have some bad news for us here, but good news for you guys. I think if you look at the wrapper, you can tell what you're getting because that's how it was with the Halloween mini verses. So if you look on the wrapper here, it looks like we're getting another round of cupcakes. And if you look at the wrapper here, it looks like we're getting some more cupcakes. But if you look at this one, we are getting the holiday ham. So that means if that theory is right, I have two duplicates of the cupcakes. So basically that makes three cupcakes and one holiday ham. Let's see, is that true? Let's go ahead and open this one. I hope it's not, but it will definitely help you guys out who are able to find these in store. But if you're ordering online, they're randomly choosing it for you. So you might get a whole bunch of duplicates. I ordered these on the lolsurprise.com website. All right, here we go. Oop. Well then. Here we go, moment of truth. The first bag will let us know. Let's open this little one again. Yep. Oh, <laughs> okay, we have lots of duplicates. Now let's try opening up the honey ham. Are the bags different? No, actually we have the little sun with the bunny ears again. So the bags don't make a difference. Let's just make sure. I'm going to open this one first and see if we have the honey ham. Oh, uh, we have cherries. Because the honey ham has the cranberries or cherries. For utensils, we have... Oh, it's our little brushy thingy and it's a silicone one. I love these brushes. They're like food brushes that you could put on like the sauces and stuff. Super easy, makes it way easier when it's the silicone ones instead of the actual brush ones with hairs. And here's our tongs. Here's our cute little bunny topper. Let's see what's in here. And the keep cool bag. Is this our resin? Oh yeah, it's our resin and it's our Happy Sun Farms glaze. That's what we're gonna need for our ham. Here's our other cute little bag. What are we getting in here? Is this bacon bits? Spice rub, aww. <laughs> and it's actually little grains of spices. We have our pineapples. It's our pineapple slices. We have lots more bags to go. Is this our ham? Oh, our ham is all wrapped up like the real deal. We've got some wrapping that we need to remove. 
And here we go, we've got a slice of ham. It's so pink. <laughs> here it is, okay. So we have the whole ham and a slice. Do you have two slices? Oh, we have two slices, cool. I think this is our last bag. Let's get our cherries up here. Our last little bag is a tray for our ham. Here we go, Are you guys ready to make some ham? First step is getting the big old hunky chunky piece of ham and actually our slices too. Let's situate these a little better. And now we're gonna need our silicone brush and our glaze. Oh, the glaze looks like maple syrup. Let's take our tiny little brush and spread the glaze. Let's make sure it's nice and glazed all around. And I'm gonna glaze the top of the slices a little bit. Here's a little bit of glaze right here on top of the big piece. And I'm just gonna grab some and put it on top of the slices. Now let's add some seasoning. Now at this point I wanna add some more glaze. And a little glaze over here. And some glaze over here because I'm getting ready to add the pineapple slices and cherries. Let's add one, two, three pineapple slices on the top. Just gonna borrow some glaze from over here. Then let's add a slice over here and a slice over here. Now for the cherries. I think our honey glazed ham is ready to be cured. Oh, these cupcakes are just phenomenal. I love how cute and Easter they are. It's definitely got tea party all over it. Oh, you know me better than anyone, Holly. This will be the best tea party ever. That's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed unboxing the new Spring Series 1 Miniverse Minis. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye for now.